At the start of a unit, students take a diagnostic. The diagnostic is extremely similar to the summative exam at the end of a unit. It is more computational in essence, looking at the foundational pieces necessary for this unit on fraction types for students to be successful. More rigorous tasks in the form of writing tasks apply throughout the unit to push student understanding with these basic topics. After a student finishes the diagnostic, it's graded and they will start by doing a reflection and an analysis. Students will go through a reflection identifying how they did by each topic in the unit. Circling the problems they get wrong, they're able to build a profile of their baseline understanding. They then move on to list topics of strength and also areas for them to grow. They set goals and next steps so they can maximize their effort to work on their growth areas most and build off their strengths. After going through the reflection process, students can make a copy or teachers can print out what we call a diagnostic to-do list. Grade out areas are tasks and while these are the lessons and these are the assessment tasks, these grade out areas are tasks that students are expected to do no matter what. They could be demonstrating work habits such as work evidence or how to take notes that are non-negotiable. However, there are lower rigor computational assessments that students can essentially test out of if they demonstrate proficiency based on commonly mapped questions from the diagnostic. So if, for example, our student Taylor Swift demonstrated from the diagnostic enough proficiency at a computational level for something in composite and prime numbers, she could mark it as complete on her own individual organizer creating her own pathway to avoid what could be busy work to focus on higher rigor applications. Each student can create their own version of this to-do list. Going back to lesson four, it could be perhaps that Taylor demonstrated she didn't need to work on prime numbers in a basic fashion. In this case, this happened to be a Khan Academy mission working on a computation level identifying what prime numbers happen to be. That can save her time and allow her to move at a more appropriate pace to work on higher rigor tasks.